Spike Chain Starters, Episode 2, Squirtle. What's going on? I'm Pokey Welder Zach, and today we're going to be making Squirtle out of bike chains. So, before we get started, I'd like to let you know that when this video hits 1,000 likes, I'll be choosing someone from the comment section below to give a free sculpture to. So, the question for the day is, do you remember your first experience with Squirtle? Was it in the original games, any of the remakes? Uh, or any other game in between. So go ahead and comment that below. And while you're there, uh, Squirtle can be a little bit shy, so if you could just drop him a like, uh, maybe he'll visit throughout the video. So with that, let's get to it. All right, we're gonna start off here with breaking up some chains. Uh, I did most of the heavy lifting beforehand. Uh, so right now you can just see that I am uh, sort of laying out the chains I already broke down. Um, we are using it two sets of four links and a set of six for the head and then the body and shell are going to be four six eight six four um, those arms and legs are just little one one pieces right here uh, i am using an extra little tool to sort of help line up the chains sometimes they get a little squirrely on me um, i am taking the four links and turning them into squares, which will be used for the top and bottom of the head. Uh, these six link chains here, um, again, sometimes when they are uh, newer chains, they can be a little, little squirrely on me, so I have to use that tool to line them up, uh, are gonna be used for the middle portion of Squirtle's head. I tried to cut out some of the time of me just messing around trying to get them uh, set up right. Eventually I'll probably try to get a, a tool or jig or some way that I can uh, more easily line them up so I can make this part of the process quicker. Um, I was just playing around a little bit with a different design and then decided to go back to what I usually used for Squirtle set here. Adding in the top piece here, uh, just a couple of little tacks on either side. Uh, gotta flip it over and then uh, tack on the bottom of the head as well. Since these are pretty light, there's a, you know, some quick little tacks are really all they need. Um, so you see me put together the four piece and the six piece. This is the start of the shell. So I'm using eight links. Again, just trying to get it lined up as best I can. Um, that one was actually a little bit easier to line up. Uh, probably been a little bit more weathered, so the chain's kind of stuck in place. Um, there's my little, my little taps there. Some quick tacks. You'll see a lot of re repetition in the types of pieces that I use. Uh, I tried to do this so that um, it's easier for me to design them uh, as well, so I can kind of have some standard links that I go to. So the shell here is composed of an uh, eight link piece, a six link piece, and then a four link piece uh, sort of lined up, as you can see here, uh, going down the back, um, sort of lining up the, the chains more from top to bottom, and they're gonna be staggered on, on the sides. Uh, it's the closest thing to a shell appearance that I could, I could make. The other six link piece is actually gonna be a little bit skinnier, uh, and this is gonna be for the front of Squirtle. And then his, I guess, even more so front belly uh, is gonna be a sort of uh, more skinny piece as well. A um, little bit different shape, and this helps differentiate the front from the shell as well. Once we have the front piece and the shell put together, uh, we are going to put the head, shell, and front all together here. Uh, the head goes on first so that I can try to hide that weld there. Um, and then you'll see where the front piece goes on. Another couple quick tacks for now. Uh, I'll go back later and actually do some additional uh, tacks on there as well to, to secure it. But that's the, the main part. Blah, 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 blah. I'm drowning in ideas over here. I got future projects, I got 3D printing, I got special events, I got sketches, designs, all sorts of things over on my Patreon. Some of it is out there and a lot of it is gonna be coming in the future. So 
If any of that sounds interesting to you, or if you want to help support me as an artist, go ahead and check out that link in the description below. Big thank you, and let's get back to the video. All right, kicking off the second part of the video with Squirtle's tail. Uh, it's a, honestly one of his more defining features, I think, that has the uh, cool little swirl with it. Uh, pretty easy to make. Basically just take the chain and wrap it up. Um, and it had a couple of quick tacks there. The final part of making Squirtle is going to be tacking on the arms and then tacking on the tail that we just created. So first arm is on, second arm. Um, again, this little magnet tool I'm using just helps me hold uh, hold the Squirtle in place in this case uh, as I can kind of move it around and get different angles to try and hide those welds the, the best I can. So once all four legs are tacked on, I'm just going through and adding a few more tacks onto the back to keep them in place. Final piece here is the tail. As it goes on, I can't really see it there, but I'll get a different angle here. Again, just a couple of more tacks, keep it secure in place, and voila, time to do some cleanup here. I know this is some people's favorite part here, just it's honestly very satisfying to watch. Uh, watch the cleaning process and uh, you can't see it super well here but um, I'm basically going through with the uh, the larger angle grinder to get the big stuff off and then following through with the uh, Dremel tool here to kind of clean up any any spaces I couldn't get to before uh, sometimes there is some debris uh, and other slag left over all right now for the spray painting, uh, which I guess this part is technically the final step, uh, getting a painted base and then following up with some uh, hand painting. This is still an area that I'm working on here. Um, I've tried a few different paints. I used to use just the spray, ca spray paint cans um, to spray them into a little uh, container and then I would dip a paintbrush in and go through, but it was just absolutely destroying paintbrushes. Um, so I tried switching over to sort of an acrylic paint, uh, which you can see here, and it's been working okay. Uh, it doesn't paint super well on the other paints, um, but after getting a couple coats, it still does turn out pretty well. The benefit of doing it this way is uh, it's actually ends up being a whole lot easier. Uh, in the end, even though it does take a little bit more time, um, it doesn't require doing a lot of different layers of tape and then having to go back and repaint. Um, and there's a lot more steps and trying to just use spray paint. Um, so going through and using the brush to sort of finish up all the details is uh, a lot easier. One of the difficulties here with Squirtle is to uh, sometimes, depending on where I get the tail positioned, uh, there is a very fine gap uh, between the shell and the tail and so sometimes it can be a little tricky to get the paint in there to finish the shell without the uh, without getting it on the the blue tail so the final few details are the white uh, sort of border on squirtle's tail uh, so let get i got a couple other coats in between this um, so this is just the final final few details here So with that, uh, Squirtle is just about done, and voila, there is our little uh, little water turtle right there, in all his fine glory. Thanks for sticking around to the end. And remember, when the video hits 1,000 likes, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway to someone from the comment section below. So if you haven't left a comment yet, go ahead and drop one down there. And while you're at it, leave a like for Squirtle. So thanks again, and next week we'll be hitting it off with Bulbasaur.